They were all seen interacting with Gilmore after Friday's draw with Scotland, where Gilmore was named man of the match. So he's tested positive for COVID. He's got to miss Scotland's game tonight against Croatia, which is a massive blow to the Scottish lineup. Public Health England states a close contact who might have to self-isolate is someone who had a face-to-face -face conversation within one metre or had been within two metres of someone for more than 15 minutes. So if you have a look, the papers... Oh, here we go again. The, I'll just fold this bit. Sorry. There we are. Um, Scott to be joking and Euro's COVID chaos. Because there's a number of ways of looking at this. And one way would be to say, James, the Scottish team have got to isolate, haven't they? Surely. Yeah, I mean, I think w w what we've ended up here is a, a ridiculous um, interpretation of the rules. And if somebody has COVID, of course, you've got to try and work out who has it and who doesn't have it. But if anybody who was organising this competition didn't think this was going to happen and then didn't make a plan as to, OK, if somebody within a team gets it, how do we deal with that team? How do we deal with everybody around them? How do we examine all the footage? Because you have a look at the footage and they've all, you know, you know, uh, hugged and this yeah. and that and the other and the whole stuff. So my view is that, look, they've all been in this bubble. Um, you, if somebody has it, then you take them off and then everybody else probably has to have proper testing and just make sure. And the second that if, if that goes, then you know, then yeah. you have to deal with it. Well, Strictly had a way of doing it. Do you remember last year, Strictly? They had them yeah, in just... such strict bubbles that when I think Katya Jones got it, she had to come out of the contest with her partner, mm. but nobody else did. Mm. And of course, with football, it's not like that, Jim, as we can see from the pictures. In fact, actually, have a look, Steve Clark, the Scotland manager, that's him with, I mean, <laughs> I mean if he hasn't is got it, then... two metres. I no. absolutely, I love Gareth Southgate, full stop, but I also love the double negative here. I can't say it isn't disruptive. That was his comment. Yeah, and I kind of would love to be behind the scenes because it's this sort of probably, I'd imagine, like an air of the thick of it with them all just panicking. This is very arbitrary. What do you do? They have to be seen to be doing something. But as you say, it doesn't really make much sense. And, and I think this is why we've got such a problem now is because I think any reasonable human being, if you give them an instruction and you explain why and it all makes rational sense, then we'll all do it. And sometimes we need a little bit of evidence to show that that's what we need to do, fine. But when we have rules which are just ridiculous and organisations that clearly haven't thought through the consequences of this because the money was so large that they couldn't possibly disrupt well, they, they this competition. Don't want to end, they, they basically want to keep the tournament going, don't they? So yeah, that's, of course. That's they can't so delay it. Let's talk to a Scotland supporter, Afia Adom, our friend, who is on the line. Hi there. Hiya. What on earth happens now? I mean, I wish I knew. This is make it make sense in a situation. I don't really understand how you can have two England players having to self-isolate, but none of the Scotland team. You know, we saw the pictures of Bobby Gilmore there with the manager. They looked very close within a metre and were face to face. And of course, you know, we've seen what's happened on the pitch where they've had celebrations, where they've talked to each other after the match. But what about in the tunnel? And what about when they're in the hotel? You know, when they're hanging out, you know, are they playing table tennis? Are they playing video games? You know, how, look how close they are in the box, for instance, here as well. So it seems to me, first of all, that this story is not over. That um, I feel like, unfortunately, perhaps today, you might have a situation where more Scotland or any Scotland team will have to self-isolate because it seems incredulous to me that none of them have to already. Now, it's a real blow for Scotland. It's such an important match for us tonight. You know, we have to win against Croatia for us to go through. And it would really be devastating if any more of our players had to self-isolate. But also, we have to follow the rules. Now, we know that Public Health England say they haven't been in touch with the team and they haven't necessarily been in touch with the SFA and had in-depth discussions with them. I think that's something that obviously needs to be done yeah. today. But I also think there's questions to be asked about how Bobby Gilmore managed to pick up COVID-19 in the first place. I think that's something that needs to be asked because, you know, we assume that they're in very tight bubbles and we assume that they're being very careful. Um, and so if he has it, I wouldn't be surprised if there are well, um, other positive tests and, that and occur later on in the day. Yes, and indeed. And, and so if the Scotland team go out and there's COVID in the team and they're playing mm. Croatia and Croatia get it and Croatia win and go through but they've now got half their team knocked out. That seems unfair. But then again, taking a team, taking Scotland out seems wrong, James. Well, it does rather seem wrong. But then on the other hand, what I don't understand is, again, we, we've had the evidence that says 
if you get jabbed with certain jabs, then it stops transmission and it certain stops hospitalization, all that sort of thing. Stops trying. They knew this competition was taking mm. place. There are enough jabs to go around to say this is a really big competition. We are good going point. to make sure that people are jabbed early. Can we just do that? I don't and if know you're going to come, jab. that's a very good point. Has been jabbed? Hadn't been I don't jabbed. know if they have. I'm not sure. Ericsson hadn't been jabbed. Ericsson hadn't been. No, no, because there was all that conspiracy yeah, but theory. Certainly but they, not just before, but, anyway. Yeah, and they, but they came out and said he hasn't right. had it. Right. Okay. Well, the other the other solution which we haven't mentioned yet a fear is that we say look we're going to have to play on despite it and let Billy Gilmore play with Covid if he feels okay why not no I don't think we can let Billy Gilmore play with Covid I mean even if he feels okay because the risk of transmission is too high I think what we do need to do is perhaps um, look at who he's been in contact with I don't think we need to have an exception where People don't have to self-isolate because of sports people. You know, we've had all that controversy if perhaps we're going to have a whole bunch of officials coming to the UK and not having to self-isolate to watch the final. That's wrong as well. Everybody has to follow the self-isolation rules, whether you're a government minister, whether you're a football association, um, VIP, or whether you're a football player. You have to follow the self-isolation no, rules. So I don't hat. think we can have no. Bobby Gilmore playing with COVID-19. No, That's but completely it's not plastic yeah, but isn't, oh, no, isn't a simple answer. There's a simple answer to this, which is if you are going to have a system where they simply haven't thought this through, if you have the proper PCR test, if you are positive, you don't play, you're out. If you don't, if you don't have uh, COVID, get on with it. And then you just have regular tests and just have to keep doing sure, those but, tests. But the point is when you've ex been exposed to somebody else and that p person hasn't, isn't days. yet testing for it, but they may have it. And that's what, you know, so I that's, know, but that's you, I think, Chilwell. Yes, but then, then you might as well call the whole competition off. Well, you, you could, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it seems very unfair to take the whole Scottish team out, but then you might, if you're but then there... It's, you know, it's, it's interesting, Jeremy, you say about Strictly, and I have a friend who's working on a movie at the moment, it could not be stricter they've yeah. like flown them yeah. they're in a room a room for 10 days on their own literal isolation because of the costs of production stopping if one of them gets it they could have done this better couldn't they i don't think they've i think the organization is now being shown up for the fact that they've been very lax about it and they didn't take the precautions they didn't necessary they, they there's didn't not think what will involved. exactly they so those three those mount chilwell and and gilmore were talking in the tunnel for 20 minutes now that shouldn't really be allowed if mm. you're, if, if you're yeah. going to try. What do you think, Storm? You're, you're a, a, obviously a massive fan of the Scottish football team. Yeah, I think it's really unfair what's happened to the English team, actually. I don't think the, the two English players should have to isolate if the Scottish team don't have to isolate. And I can see why the Scottish team can't isolate because of the tournament. But I completely agree with James. This has not been thought out. All of the players going into that match should have been vaccinated ahead of the tournament to lower the risk of this happening. And also, I don't know why they're not being tested before they go on to a pitch. I mean, we can do these tests fairly quickly, especially if they're speeded through with a bit of money behind it. Yeah. And then we can keep But you can still be brewing safe. it. You can still you be can brewing, be brewing it. it, but it's less transmissible. Sure. Like, why they're not doing CPR, uh, the lateral flow PCR. tests? PCR before they go onto the pitch yeah. blows my well, mind. They said that they've but been using lateral flow ones, which are the ones that they use in schools. PCR but they should is be what using you want. the other ones say, as well. They've got millions at their disposal. Yeah, they, they should be tested. Test, 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 when test, you look test, at them test. in the box, you know you can't have two meters social. But I know I you're don't, not a I don't football think... fan, Jays, but you honestly can't tell a defender to stay two metres from... <laughs> you really can't. Funnily enough, you see, even my knowledge of football extends that far. And look, I mean, if you're going to have a game which, OK, it's not a contact sport, but they are in very close contact all the time. Panting. It was a bad a game. Panting. It's, it's I, I almost can't I mean, bear look, to watch. It's such, a, it was such a terrible game, this.